Welcome to the ASPEAKS Commerce demonstration for adding categories and subcategories to your store. Right after you're done signing up for ASPEAKS Commerce demo, you need to log into the store using the backend login details that's been emailed to you. But just in case, if you have installed ASPEAKS Commerce software locally, then you need to log in to the store as an administrator or a super user. If you want to log in as a super user, then the username and password is super user itself. But I'm going to log in as an admin, so the username is admin and the password remains the same. Go to the admin tab. Now the reason you see all these settings is because ASPX Commerce has been built on top of SaceFrame, which is a ASP.NET web application framework. And this features is like bonus to enable you maximize the success of your ASPX Commerce online store. Next up, click on ASPX Commerce and this opens up the backend of your store. This is where you can manage the categories, subcategories of your products. You can add products, you know, set up payment methods, you can maintain sales statistics and there's so much more that you can do. Click on catalog and manage categories. This is where you can add a category and subcategory of products in ASPX Commerce Store. We are going to pretend this is an electronic store. So I'm going to add a subcategory which is called TV and DVDs. Provide a description for the category. In the meta information tab, provide the meta title meta keywords and meta description appropriate to your category this can especially be helpful for the search engine optimization purpose of the store in the display settings tab click on the check boxes if you want to display the category in navigation menu and catalog and to enable the category in the advanced search options set the active date for the category now this can especially be helpful if you're running in occasional offers on certain categories of products so you know the products will automatically deactivate after exceeding the given date so once you're done you know with filling up the details for the category click on save option to save the category now we're quickly going to add a subcategory to it so click on the category that we just created and click on add subcategory option the process of adding a subcategory is similar to adding a category. So simply name the subcategory and fill in the details as you know I have mentioned you earlier. Click on save option. Once you're done, the category and subcategory will be displayed in the navigation category tree on the left hand side of the admin panel. Now just in case if you want to reassign the placement of the subcategory to another category then you can do it by simply dragging the subcategory and dropping it in the preferred category. So it's, it's very easy. To view the added category and subcategory in the front end you need to click on the preview option on the top right corner of the page. So as you can see the category and subcategory that we just added shows up in the navigation menu. So this is how you can add a category and subcategories in ASPX Commerce Store. I hope this video was of help to you. Thank you.